Welcome back. Now in this video we're going to be talking about testing your membership in JVZoo as well as in your WordPress installation. Now before you go live you'll want to test all of the moving parts of your membership and you're going to start with JVZoo and PayPal and we're going to show you how to do that here in a minute. And you're also going to want to verify that you get a member added to your user section you're also going to want to verify that the member is going to be able to see the first month of content. So when you actually go through the testing process, make sure you use an email address that you're going to be able to check and you're going to be able to look at as if you were your own customer. You'll then want to opt into your list and make sure you get the first autoresponder email because that's going to be a good indication that you're going to get the other one in 30 days. Then use your new ID to try to find your access content that's not available to you. This will mean then that if you're using that new ID and you can't get to the other content or you're blocked or you can't find it for some reason, that means then that your customer will not be able to share your content without having paid for it. Now let's take a look at how you test in JVZoo. Now inside of your JVZoo installation you're going to see a button down here at the bottom that says test purchases. You're going to click that button and then what you're going to do is to create a test purchase code. JVZoo is going to give you this link and then you're going to be able to click this link and then you're going to be able to walk through the entire process of a purchase at one penny. Now let's just click this link to see what it looks like. And you'll notice there that you've got the price at a penny you can actually put in your JVZoo account to have your product delivered and you can put in a PayPal address. And what's going to happen is you are now going to go through the entire process as if you were a customer. So you will be able to see what happens and you can create that code as many times as you need to as you are testing your system. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.